Okay, great. Eights. Now we're going to be looking at vertices, faces, and edges. This is in our 3D shape section. This is probably the most important section of the 3D shapes. Uh, the next section is loads of fun where you get to make your own 3D shapes, and it's all about really recognizing what a 3D shape is. But now we're going to look at the different naming conventions. So we have a vertex. We have a face and we have an edge. These are the three most important parts of a 3D shape. Your edge is the line where two faces meet. So here's an edge, this red edge. A face is a part or a flat surface, a 2D flat surface, surrounded by edges. And a vertex is just simply the edge of a shape, the point of a shape. Now the plural of vertex is vertices, and we will have a couple of vertices here. Now it's very important how many vertices we have. This is a tetrahedron. Remember, this is your triangular perimeter. So we can see three faces here, but there's also a face on the bottom. Don't forget that. So here we have four vertices, right? One, two, three, four. There's four edges. There's none on the back. Then we have faces. There's one, two, three, and then we have the face at the back. And then we have four edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four edges, six edges. So you have six edges. There's no edges on the back. And there's three faces here, and then one face on the back. So there's four faces in total. Remember, this is your tetrahedron. Okay? I'm just going to rub these out. We can put them more neatly over here. So that's four, four, and six. Remember, four faces, four vertices, and six edges. So, now our vertices are places where two or more straight lines meet. Right? So, a vertice is a place where two or more edges meet, or straight lines, because a straight line is an edge. So, vertices are places where two or more straight lines meet. A face is a flat surface of a three-dimensional shape. A flat 2D surface of a three-dimensional shape. And an edge, an edge is a line segment that joins two vertices. Two, sorry, that's not two, T-O, that's T-W-O. Okay, let's have a look at our cube. How many vertices does a cube have? How many faces does a cube have? And how many edges does a cube have? Okay, vertices. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's eight vertices. How many faces? It's a dice. It has six faces. How many edges does it have? It has 12. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now these numbers are going to be very important soon, so just remember them. Let's now have a look at our octahedron. Vertices, faces, and edges. How many vertices does it have? It has 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5, and 6. So it has six vertices. How many faces are there? There's four here, and then four on the bottom. So it has eight faces. Then how many edges does it have? It has one, two, three, four. Four on the bottom, that's eight, plus nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it has twelve edges. And then our tetrahedron in the last example had four, four, and six. There's an interesting formula called Euler's formula. And this is, says the faces plus the vertices minus the edges equals two for a lot of 3D shapes. Not all 3D shapes, but many 3D shapes. Right, so let's look at the cube. We have six faces plus eight vertices minus the 12 edges equals six plus eight is 14 minus 12 is two. Ah, that works. Let's look at the octahedron. We have eight faces plus six vertices minus 12 edges, that's again 14 minus 2 is two, uh, 12 is 2, brilliant. And the tetrahedron, we have 4 faces, 4 vertices, minus 6 edges, that is equal to again. Okay, let's find the vertices, faces and edges. We have a dodecahedron. We've got a dodecahedron. We've got vertices, faces and edges, right? Remember Euler's formula? Faces plus vertices minus edges equals 2. So let's check this. Now, how many vertices are there? Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Then there's 5 on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10, right? Then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20 vertices. Okay, how many faces are there? Is this front one, the back one? Then we have this two, then three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have another eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve faces. How many edges are there? Whew, let's see if we can count the edges. Okay, we know there's five here and five there, that's ten. Then we have eleven. We're going to start here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, so there's thirty. So let's test this. Faces plus vertices minus edges. Faces is 12. Vertices is 20 minus edges of 30. What does that equal? 12 plus 20 is 32 minus 30 equals 2. How many vertices, face, and edges does a sphere have? Okay. So the vertices are placed where two or more straight lines meet. Right? There's no straight lines here. An edge is a line segment that joins two vertices and a flat surface of a three-dimensional shape. So a sphere does not have any vertices, edges or faces because a face is a flat surface of a three-dimensional shape. It's just worth remembering. Well done, Grade 8. Now we're going to get on to the fun nets and what we do with nets.